Okay. Wave beam. Any beam this way. Still can't do anything major in this hall. I'm just gonna. I'm charging through. Magmore is permanently dead in this room. Okay, we're back here. I swear that this one of these is supposed to go boom. Have the logbook entry for it? Let's find out. Artifacts. Elder. A tower sips. Uh, okay. Not Elder. Chozo. Realm of Life. Life Giver. Light. We're about to go get Light. Life Giver. Great Hall. Spirit. Vendrana's Edge. Really? I have nothing for Magmore? Huh. Oh, it should also be noted that while in the Morph Ball, the colors are also slightly different. The sides are now blue, and her little beam thing that forms is now a blue beam. Actually, nope. I thought there was a special item or something. Okay, this is for Talon 4. We're just gonna cut right to Chozo, though. Continue to push forward. Get out. Okay. I got trapped on geometry. It's awful, but it sometimes happens. Looking to go up. We're getting attacked on the morph ball rail. Kind of reminds me of the beginning of Prime 3. Oh, you mean when the magma was attacking me? Oh, look. Another one there. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. I have been to the back room. So I'm looking to get up. This way. We can jump over the grating, because it's actually been a while since we've been this way. Okay. Is this the room? Not that one. If it is this one, I'm going to be quite sad because I was not expecting it to be this one. It's totally going to be this one. This is what I was looking for in that other one, Twin Lakes. That's why I was so confused of nature. Lava Lake. Yeah, that's why I thought it was all the way back here because this is called Twin Fires. And the Hint refers to two lakes. Since Donkey Kong is canon to Mario, Mario is canon to Donkey Kong. Have I ever mentioned the Paper Mario idea that I had going on through my head? I feel the correct answer is no, but I'm not quite sure yet. Well, yes, I tell you everything, Morgan. Even when you don't want to hear it. Um, anyways, to give a quick synopsis, the Paper Mario thing is calling to tribute the original Paper Mario formula, which was what Paper Mario 1 and Thousand Year Door were like a turn-based RPG game with partners and I decided I wanted to really invest in some unique quality worlds so one of the chapters takes Paper Mario and his partners to Donkey Kong Island and the boss of the ch chapter is Paper King K. Rule So I find it I find it ironic that you that you mention um, King K Rule the Mario character It would be great I'll probably put up some photos onto the Discord channel after this to show you guys some of the artwork that I've drawn and some of the design philosophies that I've written up um what else was there I'm hoping I don't get attacked I do so because now I have access to the powerful tool the gravity suit these chozos are appearing because now I can access the thing that they're protecting. Um, King K. Rule also appeared in a Mario game. It was Mario Super Sluggers, I think. The baseball title. The second baseball title, I should say. Because 
there, there's two. Mario Superstar Baseball and Mario Super Sluggers. And he appears in the second one where there's a DK jungle level. Coming down here, we have heavy water. We can sneak on through and get another artifact. There's a reason why I'm doing all this as well. Artifact collecting at the very end of the game is so boring. Like, I'm pretty sure none of you will tune in if I do all 12 artifacts at the end of the game. Hence why we're doing it throughout, whenever I get the opportunity to like this. Now it is 8, but I did start late, that rhyme. So we're going to do just a few extra minutes of gameplay. The Chozos return, but these guys don't lock the doors. So we're going to abandon them. We already took their artifact anyways. As I mentioned before, I love designing video game concepts. Okay, before going further... I do need to get back up there, but the faster way now is the shorter way. This way. Ignore the bees. Ignore the bees! It is 8. It is 8, but I did start late. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you not like my improv rhyming? I'm trying to be a rapper. I'm trying to be the next Eminem. I say that lightheartedly because I don't know if Eminem is actually considered a good person anymore. I don't follow rap culture. One. Okay, good. I want to be the next Eminem. You know how cancel culture is nowadays? Everybody's just canceling everyone for saying the wrong thing or doing something wrong. A lot of the time it's warranted. Go in the DK rap and win a medal. Win a banana medal. Oh, banana. I kind of want to play Donkey Kong 64. But I know that I can't because I've never beat it myself. Because some of the mini games are not well programmed. If you know the words, you can join in to put your hands together. If you want to clap, take you through this monkey rap. Ho! Huh. DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. I would actually really love a sequel to the Donkey Kong. I don't know what pushed the morph ball. It was clearly a geometry thing. You know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. 
His coconut gun can fire in spurts. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. He's bigger, faster, and stronger too. He's the first member of the DK crew. Huh. Did you hear about the Republic Commando coming to PlayStation 4? Oh, by the way, Swag and WJT, uh, Morgan, a.k.a. Red Stripe Hunter, is a huge Star Wars fan. If you ever want to talk Star Wars with someone, he's the one to talk to. Get out of the way. Now I hope because I've cleared the room. Thank goodness, they're all gone. Let's see. And then down here, I think. Really? Is that it? I came all this way for nothing? Ah. Just like how my blood is Nintendo, his blood is Star Wars. I'm pretty sure 90% of it is midi-chlorians. Too bad I can't <laughs> Morgan! <laughs> the language! <laughs> we are a kid-friendly channel! <laughs> now I have to actually edit this part of the episode with a blur. Where am I after? I'm trying to... That way. This door. This is the door I'm looking for. <laughs> Morgan's mad because <laughs> even Star Wars fans don't believe in midi chlorians. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the last of the water. Missile expansion. Let me just jump back into this. We've cleared that. There's no more water in there. We've basically been into all the rooms there. Okay. Let us make our way back to the gunship, and we'll call it an episode. Okay, back to the Paper Mario uh, conversation. Um, so the first partner is I'm trying I'm trying to remember off the top of my head all the characters. Uh, first character is the uh, standard Goomba partner, the Tattle one who gives you your Tattle logs. In my title, his name is Goombrad. It's pretty funny. He's a Goomba. I should make him a Goombrat, actually. That'd be a pretty unique title. Uh, then the second partner is a Monty Mole named Monta uh, Monterey. And he does the customary bow ability of going invisible. 
The first region is the uh, standard grassland castle. Second level is a fossil dun uh, desert of dinosaurs. Third level goes back into the spooky forest and brings in Egad. Fourth level is a is an underwater level. The first time you go underwater in a Mario game. Fourth level, or in a Paper Mario game, I should say. Mario games go underwater all the time. Fifth level is a circus. Sixth level is the DK Isle. Seventh level is Ice Mountain up to space for Rosalina's Observatory. Again, I can go into further detail about this on the Discord. Because here we are at the save. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's stream. This was so much fun. I am sad we don't, we did not get to the phase on mine like I thought we would get to. Um, however, we did get to the next step to that. We have the gravity suit, which means our next mission objective is coming back here to the crashed frigate site. Next time on Game Grumps. I, I, I wish. <laughs> Game Grumps is so much fun and so funny. Um, so in the next episode, we, uh, Metroid, I should say, we're going to be going to the crashed, uh, frigate crash site here and travel through the crashed frigate in order to get to phase on mine. Our first item there is the power bomb, so we're gonna get into a lot more. Actually, how many equipment do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five main power ups left in uh, all of Metroid, and I'm not even gonna look at my little thing here. It's the power bombs, the grapple beam, x ray visor, fa plasma beam, and the phase on suit. So, we're almost done already, and it's only been three days. But, being given that this is a 100% playthrough, I also still have to go back and find all the missiles and make sure that I'm getting them all. Which, I have not been checking. Uh, but I've been going back. You, We've gone back many times now to get some, so who knows. We might actually be well, well on a roll. Um, Sunday is our next episode, next stream of Super Mario Galaxy. We have 10 Power Stars left, so I'm thinking we're almost done. If I remember correctly, I actually should not be saying this on this stream because this part of the stream goes on the Monday after the stream of Super Mario Galaxy. So, for those watching this on YouTube, you may have already missed the stream. But for those watching this on stream, Sunday is Mario Galaxy. Time paradoxes, people. Time paradoxes. In Super Mario Galaxy, we have 10 Power Stars left. We are hopefully going to get through all 10 of those rather quickly. And then the last bit of that ep that stream will be fighting Bowser the second time and the special sequence of events at Rosalina's library. Uh, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is another episode of Pokemon Sword. So you can watch that. And every Monday is Octopath Traveler on... Uh, YouTube so you can check that out as well um, as a reminder WJT you I I talked about it earlier you don't know much about Octopath Traveler either it was you or swag either way check out the series it's super fun it is an amazing series I highly recommend anyone play Octopath Traveler especially if you're into those multiple paths it's very linear, but not linear. 
I can probably better explain it through the Discord server. Um, other than that, that's about it. That wraps up everything. So, we will see everyone on Sunday when we do Super Mario Galaxy. And then we will see everyone again next week for a continuation of Metroid Prime. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.